Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, I am Madden Gaming and I'm back with another reaction video and today, oh yeah, today we got some more Madden 24 news and this one we got Madden 24 will have two completely different games. I think it's going to be similar to last year and the year before that where they had the, the PlayStation 4 version, like the older gen version and then they had the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox, the newer Xbox versions. But before before we jump into this reaction, I need you guys to like this video right now. Subscribe to you, boy, if you want more reactions just like this one. Oh, and before I hop into this video, videos like these where they're hearing about news and stuff, I'm going to leave my thoughts and opinions for after the video. So it's going to play fully through. We're going to both watch it together and we're going to see what it's about. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Madden 24 is going to be facing a similar problem that both Madden 23 and Madden 22 faced. And I don't think a lot of people are realizing it once once again and with madden 24 just a few short months away and all of the news that's about to start rolling in i think it's time to get you guys prepared for what to expect in the upcoming game for both last gen and for current gen but really quickly if you don't want to miss out on all of the further madden 24 information that we're going to be getting pretty much any day now over the next few months make sure to subscribe and turn the bell icon on so you don't miss out on any of these videos when they go live we should also be getting some information about the upcoming nfl arcade games soon as well so you definitely don't want to miss out on that either now for the past few years there's been this misconception about what's going to happen with madden as it pertains to the different console generations and also pc and it seems like once again people may be expecting something different than what's actually going to be happening we're going to talk about what you can expect on both generations of console for madden 24 where the two games are going to differ and what to expect from pc which is getting a big change this year for the third year in a row we're going to be getting two completely separate Madden games and before the PS5 and Xbox Series X were released we just kind of got accustomed to having just one Madden game period for a few years whether you were on PlayStation or Xbox you got the same experience and this is what happens once we settle into the current generation and there's only one version of Madden being created but every time a new console comes out and we go forward into the new console generation things start shifting to the new newer technology and the old generations of consoles slowly gets left behind now with madden 21 it initially launched on the current gen consoles at the time which were the playstation 4 and the xbox one x but But months later, it was also released on the new generations of consoles once they released around Christmas time. And it was a little bit different on the newer consoles, but it was nothing too crazy. The gameplay was definitely different. The movement was brand new. But in terms of features and things like that, both games were pretty much the same. Then after that came Madden 22, the first full year on the newer consoles. And with that came two completely separate games, two completely separate experiences. And I warned people about this over the past past couple of years but somehow it seems like they're forgetting about it once again this year a lot of people for some reason are assuming that last gen will get brought up closer to the newer consoles since it's in its last years but in reality the two games for madden 24 are going to be even more different than ever for some reason a lot of people think that with the last gen version of madden it's simply just a few years behind and it's just going to get all the features years later but in fact a lot of those features are just simply never going to exist on last gen and in fact the game is going to be phased out completely like it always has been when madden 22 and 23 came out a lot of people were aggravated because they said wow the new consoles got all of the new features while some features were updated on both generations most of the big new stuff like the player movement the game day momentum and the field sense technology were only exclusive on the newer consoles even the updated pre-game celebrations the super bowl celebrations and the new player models were also strictly new generation only the things that remained the same for both generations were mostly game mode related which would be franchise features face of the franchise and ultimate team now the same thing is going to happen this year again without a doubt and probably in an even more drastic way than it did over the last two years is the old generation going to be completely left untouched no they're still going to have some minor updates maybe strictly game mode related once again but the next gen is going to continue to distance itself 
itself more and more from the older generations of console and this is also likely going to be the last year that madden continues on the old gen judging from the past generation ea only continued to release madden for four years on the old consoles once the new consoles were released madden 24 would be the fourth year for this generation and in the last year on old gen very few things change as almost all of the focus is strictly on developing for the current generation and with the newer consoles finally being readily available even more people are moving over to current gen which leaves last gen in a place where it's simply not even worth the money for the game developers to invest in it anymore because everybody's jumping over now and it's pretty much just dying technology in terms of gaming is it still capable of playing good games of course but but people are moving on and that's why it's not really worth the time to keep releasing games on those consoles when people are leaving it more and more each year when it comes to madden 24 you're going to see a much bigger gap than what you saw in 22 and in 23 based on some of the stuff we've heard so far a lot of it sounds like it's going to be exclusive to the current gen consoles anything gameplay related will be exclusive to current gen because that's what they've done in the past two games current gen madden has a completely different movement system with many different animations it's a little more physics driven than last gen the movement isn't as robotic and so because of this any new gameplay feature has to be developed with those different movement and animations in mind so last gen gameplay will remain exactly the same as it has for the last two years we've also seen ea change up player models on current gen and with these models comes new equipment and in the near future new customization as that's been a talking point from ea for a while now we're soon going to have the ability Ability to customize certain equipment like cleats gloves and move more equipment around there's also been talk of custom tattoos finally coming for players all of these things could potentially be happening this year as they've been talked about over the past two years as things that were high up on the list for developers to get into the game and it's all likely going to be exclusive to current gen since those new features will be developed for the latest player models and those models are only on current gen this is why in madden 23 the last gen version Version, didn't get the untucked undershirts that were new to the game or the ability to move the player tiles around those new features were developed for the new player models thus they wouldn't properly work on the old models personally i feel like ea should have just updated the player models on last gen as well but for whatever reason they didn't so these are things that you have to consider going into madden 24 as they're likely not going to update them on last gen this year if they didn't do it last year while last gen will have updated rosters updated uniforms and cosmetic updates like changes to the stadiums and things like that because those things have to be in line with the nfl i wouldn't expect a whole lot else as we've seen ea tend to not do much else when they're on the last year of a console generation which madden 24 likely will be for them there could potentially be some game mode features that will cross over with franchise like there were for the past two years but definitely don't expect much more than that anything that can cross over likely will but you have to keep in mind most of the stuff that they're developing at this point is solely with the current gen in mind so a lot of the stuff simply will not be able to cross over if you decide to get madden 24 or any game for that matter and you have the means to upgrade to current gen this would certainly be the year to do it not just for madden but like i said any game now personally if i was just solely playing madden and no other game i likely wouldn't upgrade just for that because it is a lot of money to put out but most people don't just play Madden, they play other games as well. And especially if you play any of these yearly sports games like NBA 2K or FIFA or MLB The Show, or you play shooters and things like that, moving over to current gen, you're going to get the best and latest versions of the game. You're going to get more things in those games. So if you are like a serious gamer and you have the means to upgrade now that the consoles are available to get, I just think this is probably the right time to do it because you're gonna see less and less games being made for the older generation going forward. Forward. and a lot of the player base moved over last year at least for madden i know that for sure and even more will likely be doing it this time around because they want all of the latest stuff in the game and not only that but if their friends are moving over they're going to move over with them because they want to play online with them and with crossplay rumored to be coming to current gen the player pool for online play will only grow even bigger this year i'm not sure if last gen will be getting crossplay, but my guess would be no since this is likely the last year on those consoles i don't see why they wouldn't 
invest in crossplay on last gen they're probably just going to do it on current gen especially with pc finally being brought over to current gen as well it's kind of the final sign that last gen is getting left behind because pc is kind of the last chip to fall they're moving that over and they're probably introducing crossplay so even more people are going to be jumping over because people can play their friends on pc or playstation and xbox and it's going to grow the online player pool and there's just not going to be a lot of reasons to stay on last gen at this point now obviously we're going to be getting all of the exact details of what's going to be on last gen and on current gen very shortly and i will keep you guys up to date on all that but i just wanted to let you guys kind of know what's coming don't expect last gen to be anywhere close to current gen it's going to be even further apart than it's ever been and it's probably the time to switch over if you haven't already now if you want to know some of the other rumors and leaks we've heard a lot a lot there's still a lot of people that's still on the old gen the the playstation 4s and the old xboxes and it's like madden this more likely is gonna be madden's last year on the playstation 4 and stuff i mean you gotta move on you know uh he did say it's probably gonna be an even bigger gap than madden 23 which that's gonna be very interesting to see i know that's gonna do it for me guys hopefully you guys did enjoy this reaction I love every single one of you guys i'll see you guys in the next one